You're the superb back with another video, and I just got done watching from season three, episode five. And man, I want to try something completely different because I'm exhausted. So no visuals this time around, but I just want to kind of talk about the big things in this episode. But let's start off with the little things that did happen in this episode, starting off with like Julian Elgin actually having a very fun time, you know, enjoying each other's company, sharing each other's experiences, doing these try on hauls, smoking mid, you know what I'm saying? All that was really cool. Um, you could tell that Julie definitely kind of needed that. Um, the Randall situation doesn't really get, uh, touched upon just yet. And I feel like that's going to be like an episode six thing that's going to happen. Um, but right now, uh, it, it's looking like Randall's pretty pissed at Boyd for leaving him for dead. I don't blame him, you know, but Boyd kind of has the thought of maybe this is them just trying to show a sign or they want hit they want them to see randall like that just so they know to scare them if i'm like reading that correctly and also kenny mentions that there's something else out there possibly something other than those monsters just walking around those cabins and i definitely think there are more terrifying things like they have said out there besides the monsters because if you pay attention to the intro of all the different like things that we've seen that big ass like black um creature that looks like a fucking grim reaper maybe that's what's out there you know what i'm saying i don't know maybe that's just like kind of a depiction of something else that would be fucking scary to see a fucking like what is it like a eight foot te uh, like a like a just a hooded figure anyways that's the like kind of the little stuff also christy comes back and her and old girl kind of have this little scene together you know she's obviously going through stuff because of the whole nikki situation and now she's got to deal with christy cool right also who's come back into play is victor's father now victor's father uh hasn't met with victor and once victor finds out that his father's here he's kind of really disappointed which made me think like was this guy abusive at one point but no it's really just victor is kind of worried of what his father is going to think of him and vice versa victor's father um is kind of thinking the same way and shout outs to sarah because sarah is the mvp of this season and i don't see anybody talking about that how she saved ethan and julie now she's being you know somebody that is being there for victor and victor finally can just like open up to somebody and i feel like it's the fact that they're both kind of looked at as like outcasts people still look at sarah weird but i feel like she's going to do something big this season Going back to Victor's father, though, I, I don't think he's going to make it out this season. I feel like he they brought him into this town just so he could die in front of uh, Victor's eyes. I think they're going to start to pick at uh, at um, Victor. Um, he also mentions to Sarah that he needs to get supplies before going to find Jasper. Interesting stuff there. I'll get back to that. Now, the big thing in this whole entire episode is Tabitha's return and them doing this whole group meeting, which, man, is so telling of why this show is um, uh, laid out the way that it is. Because as soon as Tabitha gets in there, Jade, Jade was smart to just not just completely avoid that and saying, like, let's just go to this tree. We don't have to go into it. 
because telling people all this information is just going to blow shit up. And that's exactly what happened at that meeting where everybody pretty much was against Boyd. You know, Ta um, Fatima was. She was against Boyd. Even Ellis kind of spoke against Boyd. Dale's dumbass. And I'm going to call Dale a dumbass because he found out the hard way that this is why you just don't jump into random trees because even Boyd said, like, you could end up in a chimney like I did and almost die. And that's exactly what happened to Dale's ass at the end of this episode. He went to the to the bottle tree and ended up in the fucking pool. Funny thing, though, too, about that pool, right? I love how Victor's father says to Ethan... I see a motel sign. I see a pool. But where's the motel? <laughs> you know, I never thought about that till now. But that shit's funny. Really funny uh, stuff coming from Victor's father right there. But, yeah, going back to this meeting, right? And granted, there's some points being made. But, like, nobody is listening, you know? And I, I feel like that is very telling, when you hear Tabitha kind of explain her side of the story and people thinking it's just simple as just finding the lighthouse and everybody gets to go home. No, that's not how this show was set up. We got to know that as also viewers that, you know, this I, I like that this show is not predictable because I know I know a lot of people get frustrated. They want answers. They want um, their questions uh, answered. But I like that we know just as much as our characters that we see. So when they get some type of information, we get that information. It's fun to just speculate. You know what I'm saying? That's why people love this show. But I felt like that whole scene was not only not messy in a bad way, but it goes to show you just can't tell everybody everything. You know, it, it was better off when less people know. But now that they know the ramifications of going through one of these uh, trees at random, I think they're going to think completely different now. Also, you have the police cop trying to chime in or try to help mend the situation, telling Boyd, like, look, you got to get them, uh, give them something to be distracted on, give them a project or whatnot. And Boyd just he's not trying to have it. You know, he's. He's over the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? And I also like how he did um he went at Ellis too, putting Ellis like, look, bro, you supposed to be on my side, you my son. You know, what what you want me to do? And Boyd has he he's not in the wrong here, you know what I'm saying? If people want to go out and do what they want to do, go right the fuck ahead, but he's genuinely trying to protect everybody. So then the, the other big um, moment in this episode is when Victor and his father finally reunite. That was a very powerful moment. Easily one of the best scenes of the entire series, even though I've, I truly believe that that's going to be short lived. And I don't think that Victor's father is going to make it out of this season. I could be wrong. But it just seems like there's going to be a lot of characters or at least a couple characters dying by the end of the season, possibly Victor's father. Or it could very much be Sarah just because she's been having some really great moments. And I could definitely see her trying to fully redeem herself by sacrificing herself to save someone else. Who knows? But overall... I really enjoyed this episode. It was dope to see Julie and Elgin just sharing a happy moment because they don't have many in this place. It's really dope to see Victor and his father reunite. The town people are still pretty split. They got to start to kind of come together. And I think this is what people are waiting for, like people actually talking, coming out with plans. So we'll have to wait and see for the rest of the season. And I think it's just only going to get worse from here. You know what I'm saying? This was an interesting episode. Oh, Fatima pretty much confessing to 
Ellis of what she's doing and she she being she's being worried about the baby and thinking there's something wrong. That's another thing that, you know, I'm saying uh, I think is going to have some payoff by the end of this season. And I've noticed her belly hasn't gotten any bigger unless if like she's just wearing clothes that are kind of hiding it. So really interesting stuff here. I'm curious to see how Randall's going to treat Boyd in future episodes. That's going to be an interesting bridge to kind of to fix or maybe that bridge is burnt because uh, Randall feels betrayed and left for dead and you know what I'm saying Boyd is definitely feeling the pressure but still maintaining that leadership role let me know how you guys feel about this episode as a whole till next time I will see y'all in the next one peace